Hi guys, we are about to annotate our vocabulary for our new story. This is our Government at Work booklet. We'll be using this a lot, this unit. Um, remember when we do our vocabulary, we like to use a highlighter if you have one at home. You can also use a marker or a crayon, a pencil, pen, whatever, as long as you can locate the vocabulary words as we read. Okay, so we just went through our vocabulary. I have my iPad here. The words we're going to be looking for are gear, parachute, rough terrain, and fireproof. So you can go ahead and follow along with me as I read. We are going to be turning to, let's look here, short read one, smoke jumper. Use our table of contents. So, on page six, we'll begin. If we hear one of these words that we have for our vocabulary, we're going to highlight. Smoke jumpers. Have you ever heard of a smoke jumper? A smoke jumper is someone who is trained to fight fires in rough terrain, like mountains or other places that are difficult to get to. Smoke jumping was introduced in the 1930s by the U.S. Forest Service. It was a way to get to forest fires quickly. Smoke jumpers are national heroes. Their jobs are hard and very dangerous. Smoke jumpers parachute from a plane. They land on a spot. Fighting tools, food, and water are also dropped by parachute. The men and women smoke jumpers get enough tools and supplies to last them for about two days. After that, they will get more. Smoke jumpers wear special gear to keep them safe. Padded fireproof suits and helmets with face masks protect jumpers from fire, rocks, and trees. Parachutes are another important piece of equipment. They can be steered by the smoke jumpers. Their bright colors can be spotted quickly. Being a smoke jumper takes strength and training. Smoke jumpers learn how to jump from a plane, handle a parachute, and land safely. Once they are on the ground, they must be able to and work well in a team. Next time you hear about a forest fire, you can be sure that smoke jumpers are on the job. All right, boys and girls, we found a couple times that our vocabulary words were used. Parachute was used more than once. We also saw um, parachute on this page. So when you are about to work on your vocabulary four square, you can choose any of the sentences that you found your word in. So if you pick the word parachute, you don't have to write all the sentences that it's used in. Just pick one that you like the best and um, you can copy that sentence onto your vocabulary four square. Remember, we draw a picture, we come up with our own sentence, we use definition from our lesson and you take a sentence from the text. Have fun doing your Foursquare!